Hi, you guys, a little explanation. Been MIA from YouTube from a little, for a little bit. And it's really not uh, anything secretive or special, but been working on the house. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of the last videos that we bought a house last summer. Uh, wasn't run down or anything, but we quickly decided it was time to update and remodel the way we wanted. Literally the second day we were here, started gutting the house and uh, it's been a process. We are 95% done with the inside. We're close. Got a few little things to do, but it's, it's looking good. And I don't know how much I'm going to share of that because that's just the inside of the house and it's kind of family, but uh, I'll give you guys a little peek when it's all done. Um, but standing in the backyard here, and this is what's been taking my summer so far, uh, the last six, seven weeks has been transforming this backyard into what it was, which was pretty destroyed, uh, to what it is now, which is, is getting there. Uh, I got to mow the grass, but the grass was destroyed, planted a bunch, leveled it out just to get us through the summer. Dogs enjoy it, but let me show you what we did over here. So this, and I'll try to find a, uh, a before picture and I'll throw it up here right now so you can kind of get an idea. But this area was run down. It was at one time looked like it had some, some raised beds that fell apart and uh, it was just overgrown with weeds and pretty horrible. So built all this fence, which is mostly all cedar, cedar posts. It's just kind of a really built it on a budget with what we could find at the discount builder supply store and did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what it uh, looks like on any budget, let alone a, a little budget. So new fence, gate here, gate over here, built this walkway and then built everything in the garden. And we'll go through this one of these days. It's kind of my wife's area. Uh, I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's going to look great once she gets into planting it all. Uh, got some work to do over here. Got the Mazda, which I know a lot of people have been wanting a video on one of these days. Uh, for now, it's just been sitting untouched because I've been busy working on this. Uh, but this is going to be work area. We're going to get it all graveled and leveled, take that tree out and be able to work on the Forerunner and whatever here. But that is what has been taking all of my time. Is getting this all dialed in. And this is cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because we're on a GoPro here. But up in this tree, let's see, the tree over there, not this one. This was another ordeal. This tree was actually growing over the house. This is the neighbor's tree. Uh, we had an arborist come out in January and trim the tree straight up the fence line. Um, they brought in this awesome machine, which again, I'll try to throw a picture of it right here. Uh, but they came in and trimmed this up 80 some feet. So looking at this tree further out, there's a hawk's nest up there. Every day I watch this hawk flying it out. He just flew out of it. I don't know where he went. And I think there's babies in the nest. Um, Cause we can hear them. I don't hear them right the second, but they were making noises and that the big hawk's nowhere to be found. Was up sailing around somewhere. Oh, the moon's out too. But anyways, uh, this is what has been taking all my time. That being said, I do have something I want to show everybody. So we're going to uh, go load something up and go for a little drive. So here's something kind of cool I just wanted to show. My wife built this. A little picnic table for the squirrels. It's pretty neat. Corn's all gone right now because we only give them a corn every couple few days because they eat it so fast. But, uh, throw a corn on there and you'll see a couple squirrels that come up and they'll just sit at the picnic table and eat. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. All right guys, did a quick drive just so I could find a spot that wasn't my driveway to show you this fat tire bike. Um, this is an older mongoose dolomite. Uh, so long story short, I haven't been in the gym since March of last year. Uh, literally the last time I was in it, they shut things down that day. Um, and I don't know they're gonna open back up the correct way or ways that I'm comfortable going back. So uh, my resolution, get a bike. Uh, now, we're also in a bike shortage because of COVID, which is a weird thing that I did not realize until I was shopping. Uh, so got lucky, found this one on Craigslist, pretty local. 
um, less than an hour drive away. Really fair price. Uh, and I know it's an older bike and I'll tell you this, I'm not an expert on mountain bikes or anything. I just did a little research. I'm a bigger guy, needed to find something that could handle my weight, no problem. I'm not hitting trails. I'm not gonna go hammering through the woods. Wanted something I kinda uh, just cruise around the neighborhood, maybe go play around, go camping and take it and whatnot. And this is what I got. Uh, there are a lot of things that can be said about this Dolomite, but one thing people all do say is that it is durable. It'll handle the weight. Um, I have not taken it, taken it out a whole lot other than around the block. I've got a few miles on it. Literally the first two weeks I had it, I didn't touch it because I was busy working on the garden, building that fence. Um, but I have since putted around on it. So this is the new project. Um, I'm not gonna get crazy with it. <laughs> I think ultimately it'd be neat to paint it white and black the wheels so it matches the Forerunner. But honestly, all I did so far is I put a red light on it because I was riding it around at night and a flashlight, actually two of them because I was kind of testing mounts um, to see which one I like and I just haven't removed them. But that's that. Oh, and I have a new seat for it at home that's a little more cushioned. But wanted to get this out here, kind of share with you guys what I've got going on. If anybody has one of these and has any advice or input or just anything uh, that I should know about it, let me know. Um, this bike appears to be pretty new. Whoever had it before, the guy I bought it from, bought it used, and he said he never rode it. He had a garage full of bikes um, that he was working on, uh, and he seemed like a pretty legit guy. It was, it was a nice place. Uh, so it was just taking up too much room and he never rode it. So it looks like, again, I don't think it's hardly been ridden at all. So anyways, uh, I did bring it out here because I wanted to get a couple pictures of it, some decent shots. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, and then we will load it back up and talk some more. All right, so grabbed quite a few uh, photos of it. Try to get the foreigner in the background just because like they make it a neat pair. So let's get this thing loaded back in. Um, I brought it around, but I'm actually still wearing work clothes. So just one more quick look at this thing. Let's get it loaded up here. All right, so here is, uh, brings up something that I do have an immediate, I don't know, need, but want for, is a rack for this thing. Um, it does fit in the back of the Forerunner, but I got to fold the back seats now so nobody else can ride with me. And if anybody else wants to go, uh, the wife or the kids and with their bikes, it, it won't work. And it's just not fun. So hitch mounted rack seems to be the best option. Uh, I see that there's everything from cheap $50 ones that, that grab onto the bar uh, to things like the, I think it's called the 1UP, which everybody says, you know, buy once, cry once, but it's expensive. Uh, I would love one. Uh, if anybody knows of one used uh, or for a good price, let me know, but I, I can't swing the three or 400 bucks uh, for something I'm gonna use very rarely because I'm not gonna take this with me everywhere. Uh, it's just kind of a, if we're gonna go camping or exploring, let's take it. I'm, I'm gonna say, let's say a dozen times a year, maybe. Um, some people said throw it in the rack on top in the Prinsu. No thanks, the bike's too heavy. Uh, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Um, should I just get a cheap, you know, when I say cheap, inexpensive rack that'll go in the hitch to temporarily haul it for less than hundred bucks? Or do I save up and get something nicer like the one up or one of the Yakima options or something? Uh, so let me know, cause I don't really wanna have to shoehorn this thing in the Forerunner very often, especially if it's dirty, cause it'll get dirty. Um, but on the other hand, the nice thing about it being in the Forerunner is it's safe and I can park at the store on my way home or whatever. So again, I have a feeling this is probably one of those discussions that's everybody's got their own opinion. There's, there's pluses and minuses to everything, but let me know what you think uh, and what you have experience with so I can make a decision because uh, I don't want to shoe on this thing in the back all the time. Okay, so you can see it, bike's in the back. Uh, this is kind of a neat spot. It's just a little parking lot or undeveloped parking lot, but I kind of want to ride around it. I'll have to come back because this is just a few miles from the house. Uh, there is one interesting thing over here. I'm gonna drive over there and show you real quick. Since we're here, they're doing a lot of construction through here, um, but actually maybe we won't drive over there because 
the road was really tricky to get down. Not because we couldn't make it, but because of all the construction. Um, but this building over here, if any of you have ever seen uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I think it was from the, the 70s, it's filmed here. So, all right, we're gonna head home. All right, guys, just got back home and uh, the hawk was flying around, but I didn't get the camera on fast enough. Fun to watch. The crows are out, dive bombing them. That's usually how we find them. It's crows and hawks are enemies of sorts. Ah, I lost him. He was soaring around up there. Anyways, it's a nice day. And uh, I think I'm going to make some dinner and sit out here with the dogs and probably work on the video. You know what? Maybe I will edit this video out here on the back porch since it's nice out because um, we're kind of, me and the boys are bacheloring it up for the week, I guess, while the wife is gone. Um, so that's okay. She's enjoying some nicer weather than we are. Uh, but just wanted to throw this together uh, just to have not done a video in a while nothing too exciting i don't know how many people enjoy seeing the bike or whatever but that's kind of my my next thing i don't want to say the forerunner's done but there's nothing major i'm going to do to it i mean it's, it's kind of how i want it so uh obviously if we go out and explore with it i'm going to take you guys along we're going to do videos not going to be many big mods to it i don't think i don't think who knows that might change dogs are I can hear the neighbor. Walter, no. So again, if anybody knows of any mods that I should do to the bike, let me know. Uh, I'm all ears because I'm learning. Uh, like I said, I've only ridden, ridden it a little bit. Plan on riding it a lot more. Excited for it. Dog's gonna stop parking. Um, but that's it. I don't know how exciting this video is gonna be or how much you guys want to see, but at least try to get something out there. So. Uh, that's it. I'm going to get some dinner, enjoy the backyard with the dogs. We sit here and watch the hawk and uh, put this video together. Maybe we'll get it up tonight. So thanks everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.